Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk on geographic information system for drought risk mapping in Australia, drought risk analyzer web app. My name is Chen Song. I'm presenting this project on behalf of the other project member, including Suning Choi, Professor Yuri Khrushchev, Jimin Choi, and Isabella Eckenhead. This project goal is to design a national scale web GIS application for drought risk assessment, which can be used by the stakeholders, decision makers, and the general public. The project focused on calculating a drought risk index. This is because space, specific drought risk index is, is critical for accurate drought risk mapping. In addition, when assessing agriculture drought risk on local government scale, it is important to develop a drought risk index specific to the area of investigation to ensure that results are meaningful and actionable. Based on substantial literature review, to calculate the drought risk index can be achieved by integrating relevant hazard vulnerability and the exposure indicators and the index applicable to drought risk mapping in local areas. To achieve that, this project including the following objectives. First, to identify and conceptualize the drought risk indicators and the key components. Second, to co connect the spatial data sets for drought risk indicators and build a drought risk index database for different levels of indicators and indices. Third, to calculate a drought risk index in GIS for Australia local government areas. The fourth objective is to design a web-based GIS application for drought risk analyzer. And finally, to disseminate the drought risk indicators and the index with functions in web portal using interactive dashboard and the maps. This project mainly focused on introducing the stages, two stages of the technical process. Stage one, including data analysis and the processing using GI, desktop GIS program. This including data connection and the processing such as formatting data resolution and the projection, calculating indicators and the indices using GIS tools, and constructing a composite index for drought risk assessment. Based on the data and the, the index from stage one, at stage two, the project was to develop a web-based application including designing a set of web GIS maps, designing a drought risk analyzer dashboard, and testing the application. Our project literature review, based on the project literature review, we constructed the methodological framework to, um, to demonstrate the the drought risk indicators indices at the three levels. At the level three, on the slide showing the, the variables, all the parameters we used to calculate the level two drought risk components. The three components including drought hazard index, Drought Vulnerability Index and the Drought Exposure Index. The three components were aggregated into a composite index, which is the final product of stage one, the Drought Risk Index. To calculate the Drought Hazard Index, the first component for the Drought Risk Index, we identified three indicators, including standardized precipitation index, vegetation health index, and the soil moisture. 
the raw data of these three indicators were obtained from the World Meteorological Organization Space-Based Weather and Climate Extremes Monitoring International Initiative. The standardized precipitation index we used is the, the 90 days average for Australia ending at the end of um, October in 2019. The raw data was in NetCDF format and was converted in into rust format in ArcGIS. The vegetation health index we used is the October 20, 2019 for Australia. And uh, the soil moisture index we used is the October 2019 for Australia. The three indicators, the SPI, the standardized precipitation index, the VHI vegetation health index, and the soil moisture indicator were normalized and integrated into a cumulative index using an equal weighted sp spatial overlay method in ArcGIS. Zonal statistics method was used to calculate the mean value for each indicator at every for every local government area. And these three were aggregated into one. The, the drought hazard index. The second component is the drought vulnerability index. Based on literature review, four indicators were identified and uh, data were collected from Australia Bureau of Statistics. The indicators including social dependency po percentage population between the age of 15 and the 64. And the, the percentage of agriculture occupation population. And uh, the social economic index for areas, which is a CIFAR, which is an Australian Bureau of Statistics takes product that ranks areas in Australia according to the relative socioeconomic adva advantage and the disadvantages. These three, in, these four indicators were aggregated, normalized and aggregated into one drought vulnerability index as the second component for drought risk index. This map showing the drought vulnerability index for LGIS based on the four indicators. The third component for drought risk index is the drought exposure index. Assessing the exposure to drought, we consider that the spatial distribution of three indicators, elevation, slope and the north facing aspects and the drought impact land use. The drought impact on land use, including crop area and uh, livestock, which characterize agriculture and primary sector activities. This slide is showing the components of drought exposure index and the indicators used to calculate the drought e exposure index, including the elevation, land use, slope, and the northern facing aspect. The original data is in raster format. We're using zonal statistics to calculate the mean value of each indicator at every LGA polygon 
and aggregated into a single drought exposure index in ArcGIS. Drought hazard index, drought vulnerability index, and the drought exposure index, the three components were aggregated into a drought risk index, which is the composite index using equally weighted overlay method in ArcGIS. The aggregated index was classified into five categories based on the quantile value from one to five, which one represents the mild risk to drought, while the value five represents the extreme risk to drought. This is the, the final product at the stage one. Based on the products from stage one, the drought related in indicators and index, we built a drought risk analyzer app in ArcGIS to dissimulate the drought risk index, indicator and the index using an interactive dashboard and the maps. Multiple layers representing indicators and the index indices were uploaded to the map for visualization, query, and the generating graphics. The Drought Risk Analyzer app also includes charts and the gauges to show the statistics of the indicators. Dashboard elements were configured to communicate with each other. A set of widgets, the tools were built to enable interaction with the map. For example, the laser visibility, search, sharing. Furthermore, a spatial an analyze was included in the app. For example, the 3D scene interactive navigation were include, was included in the app. And uh, the analyzer tool, including finding the relationships between indicators, for example, the standardized precipitation index and the vegetation health index at each LGI level. Similarly, the relationship between indicators of soil moisture and the vegetation health indicators were also developed in the app, included in the app. This will help, help the stakeholders, decision makers to develop the intervention strategies for just drug risk assessment and the mitigation. The drought risk analyzer app also including some summary tools, for example, the distribution of the, the drought risk index between the states and the territories, which we can see the state of Western Australia has the, the highest average of drought risk index. Also, there are some extremely extreme values which showing some LGIs in Western Australia have high drought risk index, can be extreme risk to drought. The presented case study for drought risk assessment in Australia in 20. 19 demonstrate the flexible functionality of the drought risk and analyzing analyze and its ability to generate various maps, graphics, and the statistics, which can be brought down to the level of individual LGAs. The dashboard presents the data in, in intuitive and compelling ways. The drought risk analyze app can be beneficial for Australian farmers and the rural community, communities to assist with decision making, as well as for LGI planners to gain insights on current state of drought risk at both local and the national levels. 
the developer developed the methods of using space-based observation for assessing drought hazard could be applied for developing similar web-based information tools in drought prone area for other countries. In the future, we aim to develop cloud-based application such as the stage one data connection and analysis can be contacted using geo server and cloud computing. In the future, we also plan to develop multi-level drought risk index, index for geographic areas, such as at the, the suburb level. In the future, we we are using programming to automation some to link the meteorological data so the web-based app can be automatically updated when the new meteorological data is available. Also, we aim to develop the model to predict the future drought events and uh, people can use, the uh, users can use the the app to to predict the the possible future drought events in the in their interest area. With that, I'm closing this presentation and open to the questions. Thank you for your listening. <laughs>